Yeah. Say that again. Do the draw. Do don't. Oh, hang on. Got it. You've got to draw it. Oh well, no. I meant do it with the paint rather than the pencil. No. Well, go on, then. You do that. I'll go, I'm going to stick with sketching it with a pencil, and then, oh, yeah, but you're good then at maybe doing put that. some. Like, then oh, we'll, I might paint over the pencil lines a little bit, but that's the way you're supposed to do it. Give me my animals, they're better to do. I can cope it's the with same them. Thing. I know, but I can't get the eyes right. Why can't I? I've just got a thing about these eyes. I need, I, I don't know. It's only a flipping golf ball with a little, little round bit in the middle. <laughs> oh dear what you're seeing is part of the golf ball the bit with the skin over it if you pull someone's eye out it's a round ball isn't it like you know like a golf ball with a bit in the you know the look out in the middle <laughs> with a lens bit <laughs> pupil all right all right <laughs> bit yours, so maybe you should think of it everyone's different you have to you have to well, visualize what you're scared what are you doing in a different in a way that suits you? And if you right. look at it as a if you draw it as a round ball and then put the eyelids on and then oh. the, the eyes in the middle. So that, that's let's have a look. What have you done? So if you oh gosh. If you draw a round ball. And then put the eyelids on. It's a bit oh, light. I can't really see. No. no. I'll do another one in a minute. Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose I'm looking at the picture doing that. I think you don't put so much of the eye in, do you? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, and how do you do these? I don't know. No, to know. Oh, I'm doing the creases here so that it looks like it's lifted. I find that hard as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> like when you well, smile like that. I don't know if you can see this tonight. When I did Boris, that was, I did the background and then I just yeah. did, can you see? And I just did it with the paint, with the paintbrush. Yeah. yeah. I didn't use the pencil at all. And right. then, I mean, it is a bit, I think maybe you should stop thinking of it yeah. as a portrait of a person and pretend it's a pet. And then build it up more. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. But I don't use pencil at all. But then it's only because the pencil disappear. Yeah, they, they disappear. Yeah. yeah, I mean, usually oils and acrylic, you use charcoal pencil or a piece of charcoal. Yeah, oh, I don't. Right. I don't even use that. Um, well, that's what I just use everyone's the, different. We all do it different. Brush. Yeah. Yeah, it's all... it depends on portraits, on um, landscapes and what have you. I just use, I've got one of these, you know, just a little, can you see it? Pen, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's just the chart, um, I don't know what it is, a piece of charcoal, isn't it? Yeah, charcoal piece. Yeah. And um, that's what I use, or I use if I'm doing it on a dark background, I use a white um watercolor pencil or something i think the main yeah. thing the main thing carol is to relax yeah. <laughs> don't get, don't, i mean no one I, yeah me. i think the thing is i sort of have to get myself geared up to do the drawing it's, it's just not, fitting it all in yeah yeah but it's not by royal appointment you know you're not going to get um you know, sent to the tower or anything, you know, it's just... I suppose I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I like it to look right. I just think... Yeah, that. this is such... Oh, um, look at his eyes. It's oh, bloody... What's wrong with it? It looks great. Oh, it's rubbish. It's rubbish. <laughs> I tried rubbing it all out, so I just left it in the end. Oh, yeah, I got in then, such then a mess with it. it. Yeah, I got in such a mess with it all. I thought, oh, God, I laugh at them when I do them. I said, well, I don't know who this is. <laughs> I show it to Peter. Oh, well. <laughs> I can see bits of other people in, in all of them. Every time oh. I do one, I, I look, when I'm saying that, I looked at, um, 
I lifted a board back and it's Frankie Howard one that I'd done. Oh. I thought, oh, that looks like Frankie Howard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm really chuffed. Oh, hang on. I just got to go and let my hair in. Hang on. Let your hair net on. <laughs> hair net on. I mean, she doesn't have to beat herself up. Yes, she does. I mean, I, think, are, I mean, the mouth, the mouth and the nose are really good, aren't they? The eyes gone a bit blurred because she played with it. If she'd left yeah. it alone. Yeah, that's true. It just needs tidying up. But I just, they've not, their character, their watercolour character portraits, they're not yeah, photographs. Yeah, um, photo realistic facsimiles of the doodle. The more you, I do, we're all guilty of it. I do it. I think, oh, God. That, he looks like a Welsh miner. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does, doesn't he? he looks like a definite, the, a definite Labour Party candidate. <laughs> could be at the door of the. Um, <laughs> Oh, he's broad shoulders. Go in. Yeah, he's good. All right, then, boy. <laughs> right, then. I think he's sort of a more darker door. All right, then. But I can see Mr. Bumble in him. More, boy. Oh. Oh, dear. Carol, Carol have nightmares over that one. Oh, God, yeah. Don't put it up. Oh, you have already put it up, haven't you? So don't. Yeah. <laughs> That was um, Pauline. So she's a yeah. really, she's <coughs> got a good head of hair. Yeah. She's a diamond, isn't she? Jacket's smart, isn't it? Yeah. I can, yeah. I can imagine that is just like the sort of thing you probably wear on Parkinson, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the old velvet collar. <laughs> well, I thought it. I, it, it yeah, velvet tie, velvet jacket. Why well, she likes doing portraits. I don't, I, you know, I don't think I'm that keen on doing them, really. But got to get better. <laughs> That's what well, I said, you I, know, it's not about... I enjoy, I enjoy portraits, but I hated doing landscapes before. But, but by doing this, by having to do a set thing each week, You're it's getting... forced me out of my comfort zone. Mm. And make do landscapes, and now I quite enjoy doing them. Yeah, mm. so, I mean, it's so the same it is, for me. It is about pushing yourself to do something different, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm such a fickle twit. I keep, I've, <laughs> I'll get, I'll get, I th James just says it's your autism or whatever, and then, and I've I'll get something in my head and that's it. I've got it just go whoosh. And now I've got, I've changed the way we are approaching and thinking. It was only last Friday, the weekend, I thought, Look, printer's going. That's going to change the way I have to produce my artwork. And I'm going to do it this way. I'll show you in a minute. And um, oh. going back to reality, back to basics, back to, creating a piece of work rather than manipulating a someone else's photo yeah right it started last tuesday when i was talking about and joyce i was i was talking about copyright and things like that and after we'd finished later on joyce sent me a an email with um a couple of links on where you can um one of them is paint my picture so there's a website where people put their photographs up and the website is Paint My Picture. So you, oh, join wow. it, you can download their picture, their photograph and paint it. So from now on, I'm going to use that. There's mm. a couple of them. And take the angst out. If, I want, if we want someone famous to paint, then we're going to have to pay 12 quid for the privilege of it, for the photo. Mm. Which is they don't well, they don't look like them. We might as well paint anybody, might we? <laughs> and any face would do, it doesn't have to be somebody famous. 
<laughs> they don't come yeah. out looking like them anyway. <laughs> well, well, that's, that well mine is... don't. Mine don't anyway. Oh, that's dear. true. Yeah. We got to, you've got to be honest, don't we? I mean, we, I, I'm not... I'll take a picture of Peter. We can all have a go at him. <laughs> Make him laugh. <laughs> no. Oh, dear. <laughs> Make them laugh. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Today's thing um, is starts. It's the start of what I'm saying, really, isn't it? What I I called it. Hang on. Is it your photo? Is that your? Is that your garden? Uh, I wish. Oh, it isn't. That's Granddad's garden. Yours. Granddad. Uh, Mel's dad. I, oh, it it's a nice garden, isn't it? It's huge. Yeah, that, you, you Mel and, set swing. Yeah, it was Mel and Emily, mother and daughter sort of thing at the swing. Oh, right. There are two pictures there, but I'm only going to. We're only doing one today. Is the the uh, hang on? Is I'm only concentrating on this bit today because i reckon there's two stories here one there's yeah. that which is to me that's you know granddad's summer at granddad's but there's also which i'm gonna oops control z say for another day or another time this bit over here which is granddad and little teddy in the garden as well so there's enough there to do another picture of the figures and one thing, another, another oh conversation. God, that's be hard, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> no, We've got to all those, all those yeah, lines. We're, we're, we're looking beyond <laughs> the thing. It's, that's what I've just said. We can't start it. Oh. Right, I'll, do this, okay. I'll do the sketch and all you right. look at the sketch. Worry about, oh. worry about it then. All right, do. okay. Because <laughs> they're going out of the picture anyway, so you, you wouldn't paint that. No, right, okay. So yeah, the, so the focus this week is the other bit. Yeah, it's a lovely garden, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, it's, it's great. <clears throat> this is nice. I like this porch bit. Veranda, I mean. Very it's nice. nice. Oh, that's, that's um, <laughs> that's about the size of, size of some people's aims. I'd love a veranda like that with one of those swing seats on it, like you see in America. I love all those wooden verandas. They look mm. lovely, don't they? Yeah, it's <coughs> got um, blinds that come down, like you can see it on the left there. And they, mm. and they can take out the real fierce sun sometimes that oh, comes right. across. It's got a proper roof on it, though, has it? Oh, yeah. Next yeah. to it is the... Is the garage, but then the garage has been extended right the way back to here. All brick built stuff with windows, doors, and above mm. that, there's another. Oh, God, I don't know. It's it's Ponderosa, isn't it? It's a nice mm -hmm. house. Mm, nice it's house. Lovely. The only thing that could you could say sport is the the New Milton or the Bournemouth to Waterloo line runs. At the bottom of the garden. Huh. We're not, it's right down the bottom, you know, in it's the gully. Crazy. <laughs> but you do, it's quite good fun sometimes. The kids love it. Because yeah. they we can go down the bottom where are the um um what you call it compost heap is and things like that, and you can just see the train come by, you can hear it. Oh lovely. They yeah. love that. Uh, yeah, so lots of nice trees again. <laughs> yeah, I thought. Well, well, there's a procedure. We'll have a laugh, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> things, oh, gone away. Just no. already decided we're going to do that. I am recording. Right. Okay. No more swearing. Oh, what was, this, what I was going to say, <laughs> I, for, I keep forgotten, Lorna died from the art group. No. Lorna Coombs. 
Oh, no. I don't yeah, think I, I knew her, did I? Bless yeah, her. You, you would have known her. Would I? You keep freezing, Dave. You've stopped. No, you're all right on mine. It's you oh. that's freezing. Yeah, you're moving now. But when you said <laughs> you said Lorna Coombs, and then it just, the screen just froze. Maybe Lorna. She, no, I can't. And you've done it again now. It's not me freezing. No. It's your connection that's because you it? you disappeared a few seconds ago. Oh, did I? Oh, oh, it's me then. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I can do about that. No, do I? No, she, yeah, I got a. Oh, well, I didn't I'm know sad. anything about it, but I forgot, and I'd forgotten. Um, I got any. It was in the church news uh, part, of the church newsletter, a few. Mm. Ooh, I thought. Then I got another one on the 15th of September saying there was a memorial service at St. Luke's, which was her favourite church over at Bournemouth. Uh, I thought, oh, didn't even know she, you know, she passed. Oh, mm -hmm. So um, I, this morning I flipped back through to a previous and it was on one of, it was a little note, little line on the, um, church notice sheet notices that they sent to me that I missed I didn't even notice <laughs> mm. just our friend Lorna has gone to a better place blah 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 blah, blah. oh that's a shame because mm. she was quite friendly with Mary wasn't she yeah um little she was short with white lovely white hair Welsh origin her family Used to run a big shopping pool. Coombs is some I don't know what it was. Don't know if it was hardware DIY or minor, you know. Mm. I, I, don't, I can't remember. But so, but the, mm. Coombs. I, so. Yeah, I don't remember her. She didn't. No, I don't she, know. Just she used to do these. Uh, I, I've still got them on my system somewhere. Um, her quirky robins and that we used to do every year. She used to do robins and that. Mm. So, oh. well, Anybody I'll, heard how Mary is? No, that'd be the next. Um, mm. Well, I I sort of model it on because I, I send out a message on the phone every Tuesday morning and. Sometimes some of them don't get through. Lorna's hadn't been getting through for quite a while. Mm. She was never very technical anyway. So I don't you send that one anymore. Um, and Mary's still gets through. So her phone's still active. So I figure that's a good sign. Mm. It's a strange way of modelling if someone's still with us. <laughs> <sighs> what what about is it Julie? Do you ever hear from her? What's Julie? No, uh, Terry. Julie. Terry usually rings people up and that sort of thing. Like, and and what was that other man? Called? What was his name? Gordon? Andy. No, not Gordon. Uh, Andy. He's just... Andy. Yeah. Oh. Andrew. Andy. All right. He was a um, surveyor. All right. Yeah. What about Stephen? I, him, uh, him? I get a phone call. Don't go ahead. <laughs> <I just> saw, <laughs> um, morning. Where's my artwork? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Where's my artwork? Oh, so I have to send him um, like the ones that we do. Mm. A lot of them. What I'll do? What my painting? I'll take my painting and then I'll trace my painting on a piece of. Um, I'll show you in a minute. And then put it on some cards, and I send him the cards. Mm. Portraits. I think I, I am. I know they. It was only a couple of weeks ago I sent some. I put like one on each side of a, a thick card, so he could have a go. Does he ever send them back to you, <laughs> so you can have a look at them? No. Uh, Stephen's not. 
a technophobe either, is it? A techno yeah. technophobe oh. either. So that's going to be a. But it's nice to hear from him occasionally. Well. Yeah. Because uh, I went up to see my friend Carol that knows John and his wife. So his wife, I know, was walking up the garden path, fell over. She's broken her hip oh. and, her, and her arm. Oh, dear. So um, they haven't moved yet. So and she said, John can hardly get up the stairs. So I don't know how they're going to get on. Which, <clears throat> you talk about John? Yeah. He's moving. Yeah, I know, but he hasn't moved yet. I'm saying his wife last week or the week before fell over, broke her hip and her arm. His wife did? Yeah. Oh, that'd be, that'd be disaster because she's, they support each other, like. Yeah, I know, I know. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'll probably get a phone call. Probably... Oh, 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 oh. My wife's fallen down and broken neck. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, She's not very happy. He's so funny. This is what I was on about. Funny. funny. <laughs> he makes me laugh anyway. What I was saying earlier. Can we do this? Oh, I don't need. I've been using this this stuff. Oh, what's that? It's um oh. it's not tracing paper as such. It's it's well it is, but it's detailed type paper. It's All what right. I've been doing what I did this week and what I'm gonna start doing now is I did print out an A3 version of this um to this week's subject. But this was only because I was selling the printer and I, I videoed it printing out of an A3 print just and then put it on eBay, linked it to the eBay thing. I saw and it. Some A, but the ones I was, <laughs> the A4 ones, the one I utilised. What I did, or what I'm starting to do now, is sketch it on the detail stuff which is the one that I sent on the email, which is my sketch mm. that breaks it down. That took me, took me a while to do. And then I'll put this over my, pa over my paper and just use a bit of trace down just to get that over it. And the beauty of that is I've always got this now. Because mm. when I put it, I'll put it down like that, tape it to the top, put the... Um, trace down carbon paper underneath and use a uh, biro. Oh. Uh, if you use a biro to go over it as you trace it down, then, then you get the carbon line underneath mm. and then just go quickly over it with a pencil. Not, not like I did the other week, use a biro. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> you know, I, was using the, I was going, oh, that's a nice dark black colour. <laughs> oh, right until you want to wash it out. <laughs> yeah, so, but the beauty of these are, I've, I've always got them, and you can manipulate it. You know, you can leave things out and put things in and move it around a bit, even though I didn't do much moving around. What I was going to say... Um, you were talking well, I was talking a minute ago two things was eyes yeah yeah what I was saying was oh, find, find a black one hang on. it'll show up there if if you draw an, it's a ball isn't it yeah. it's a golf ball yeah now where do you go from there <laughs> well you've got your if it's in pencil you can put your pupils in and then put the eyelids don't think wow. I was oh. saying, don't think of it as a and the eyebrows are naturally gonna fit over the top of the ball. And you could and off you go. Build it up. Oh, right, okay. I, what yeah. I was saying was 
the way you visualize it might be different but in reality it's a golf That's... ball with a little lens in the middle yeah if you look at if you think about it it's draw think about it that way perhaps yeah, it, I'll have a go. next time you're painting or sketching an eye maybe you could look at the bottom of the eyelids and the bottom this bit here yeah because that's sunken in yeah it's sunken in well there's the start of the ball oh, there's a ball yeah. there and a ball there is it his eyeballs aren't that big are they <laughs> and then pencil the eyeball <laughs> and then yeah. find that extra bit yeah which is his bags under his eyes nice. and then he's got the eyelid coming over Oh, I'm earning me money today, aren't I? Coming <laughs> over the, and then that all flows up. Right. Okay. I know. I hadn't thought of doing that, so I'll have a go. Yeah, That's that my, looks my point, better. That, that is my point. Yeah. Um, is, and it has been ever since we've been meeting. For years, I've been saying, don't draw the final object. It's just draw a circle. Draw. A square i'm no i don't I'm, I'm no genius at all i just sort of don't say make it up as i go along but it's the only proper way of doing it anyway mm. i don't think there isn't a right and a wrong there is no right way what are we going to no. do with this thing look at this yeah where are you going to start <laughs> ah therein lies a secret Oh. <laughs> Never <laughs> oh, I just noticed something. Hang on. I need me ruler and a pencil. I just no, noticed. Totally I just noticed that. Shall I? Or should, yeah, I think I will actually. That level with that. There's a another. Cool. I've been over there hundreds of times and I've never even thought about it. There's another bit of raw iron. But I figured I'd use my ruler on these. That's a bit ironic, really, because the ruler is Grandad's ruler. Oh. <laughs> he gave it to me ages, years ago. Yeah, I think he was going through um, Melanie's old school stuff out of a wardrobe upstairs or in the loft. And the ruler came up and he said, oh, Dave, you do painting. Here's a ruler. There's a wide one there. Well, maybe not. One there. In one, I'll just sketch those in later with a pencil. Perhaps a nice watercolor pencil. Anyway, that was the hard. This this is a hard bit. <laughs> Getting drawing a curve, and over there there was a curve. One of the things I did, I don't know if it would work. Was I put the? I had to straight edge the ruler, and then I thought, "Oh, how do you draw a curve?" So I, I grabbed the ruler and moved. I grabbed the pencil and moved the ruler. And oh. all... <laughs> Gave me a curvy line. What well, one of those things they use in mass, isn't it? What are they yeah, called? Those plastic bendy thing. <laughs> I spent my money this week. Art money. On um, what's the name? More brushes, you say? Yeah, more brushes. God, yeah. <laughs> tinker. What's no, so what, special I, then? What have you bought this week? I watched. Um, I was watching a video of someone. It came up my Facebook feed of someone painting a. 
doing a portrait. And I was watching it and I thought, you know, this bloke's, I've watched him before. I thought, and it's like, this guy's very, very slick and very cool. That's what he does, paints portraits all the time, really, in a specific way, colourful. bit like that A3 print I showed you just now when I was sat down at the oh. desk. Um, he does those. And um, I thought, I was watching it, and that's where I thought, Do you know what, he's painting all the darks first. He's not, like, traditionally watercolour, you paint the lights, the light colours, and then... It's all the light behind the behind the dark, and um, I, that's where I thought I'm not going to do it like that anymore. I'm going to do what he's doing, or well, at least have a go. George used to do it as well, actually. It's just I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> this I don't know about you. I don't know. This has a this image, rightly or wrongly, it's got a, a David Hockney feel about it. Um, so, anyone listening or Pauline or whatever, Joyce, is, Joyce will be an expert at this picture. Mm. Oh, here's my... Well, I remember. Top tip. Uh, you're getting your money's worth today. Anyhow, top <laughs> tip. When you, you know, you get the end of the tube and you can't mm -hmm. squeeze any more out the top. What you do is you get a pair of scissors and you cut. Well, what I do, I've cut across halfway and you can leave the top on cut the, with a pair of scissors down the side and then you get your fingers in a bit of a mess and then you open it up like that so you've got <laughs> like that oh, you stick that in your pan oh, your okay. palette like that now you've got all that paint in there to play with right and the bit that the other bit that you cut off the bottom you can do that as well oh, stick well it on done. There. Mm. And now i've got two lobes mm. Because it, the um, lemon, the yellow lemon, the yellow was empty, and I thought, oh, I'll squeeze it. I thought, hang on. So there you go. Well oh, done. Couple of tips today. This is the um, Two Rivers paper. Oh, your favourite paper. <laughs> well, it always used to be, Carol, but yeah. just lately, I, I think I've got a duff batch. We'll find out in a minute. Mm. with no size on it even the arches paper that the the, the um, hot press stuff has got size in it but the size in that is in the middle mm. it's internally sized you need some size on it on the paper otherwise the paint just soaks straight into the you know, mm. look at us. <laughs> look at that. Oh, wow. can you move can you... your picture down a bit? Because we can't see the top of it. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's all right. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That gives us a better idea what you're up to. <laughs> maybe I was maybe I was hiding it. Yeah. I didn't want to show anyone. What it is, there's a huge it's not, I don't think it's, it's, it's a huge hedge. There's no sky in this picture because <laughs> there's a massive, well, there might be, yeah, there's a hedge all the way around, you know, it's lots of know. green. <laughs> goodness, goodness knows how, yeah, now, Missy, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> no, Missus, this, yeah. so I'm just gonna dab some yellow in. I've sketched out the tree there and another one there. Might have to. I told you this ain't going to take long. This picture. We'll be out of here by midnight. Right. I've got 
this tray of greens. Now, you don't have to go out and buy special greens, but you'll get tubes of green paint, or well, I have, mm. from over the years and one thing. So I just squished in a few variations into this little palette. And I've, I don't know why, in my mind's eye, I've got this um, really bright green to drop in. There's, if you've got a lot of it, it's all about time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you have a, you could break the picture down into really fascinating sections and um, like you say, put, you could do this bit, then add cling film over it, walk away and leave it. Mm. But at some point, you know, and then you'll get a really nice speckly background effect. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the... You've got to admit that um, messing about with um these greens uh, i mean it is awkward and fiddly but you don't have to get some, some interesting method or you know techniques and that i'm just using a i've mixed up a little bit of sort of an olivey green and that's just dabbing it into the blue that was in my palette from last week and hopefully this is going to stay wet enough just to let it run otherwise I'm going to spray it I'm leaving that bit over there for a minute so I just want to try and get some darker colour never know bit of blue Mix it into the green. While it's wet, we can let the water do some of the work. It's a bit of the hedge in there. Right. It's an aeroplane just gone over us. Sounded a bit like a mess, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Well, living in Christchurch, you do get the mm. uh during the summer, the odd day, you get them. They park at her an airport and then go off and do a air show. Mm. Either Cornwall, Devon, Isle of Wight. We get a lot of helicopters here from the Army Cat, Marine Cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're always going over. They make a noise. Yeah. Don't they? Mm. <laughs> I hate it sometimes when they have the police helicopter out at night and you can hear them going round and round. Yeah. 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 Well, they just sometimes they just hover above your house. Yeah. You think, hello, what, what have <laughs> I done there? <laughs> I'm just using the um, fan brush, yeah? Mm. Isn't that? It will, I don't want to go too dark because we want it to look like it's in the background a bit. And I want the water to do some of the work. I'm thinking Joyce here. Hmm. Lovely. Different. Contemporary type feel to it. And this bit over here, I'm going to leave and come back. Leave trees? Yeah, all right. It's nice. <laughs> Find some darks. You can look at the picture if you like. That's just... So I've got these different, some greens, and I've just added blue to in this palette underneath. But they are, 
there is some real dark areas which I'm trying to force. Great fun. That's better. Mm -hmm. That is nicer mm -hmm. than I anticipated it being lying in bed early this morning thinking, how the heck am I going to paint this? Uh, mm -hmm. I've got this brush with the mm -hmm. doodle on, but you can use a A knife, if you've got one. Just put a few. If I can. Credit card. If you've got the edge of a credit card, sometimes does it. Really good. Just grabbing what you've got at the hand, really. Because there's definitely a hint. You can't actually see them, but there's definitely a hint of branches in amongst it all. It's nice noise, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, how hard you have to press as well. Well, that's taking a bit too long, really. Just do that little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't started yet. Still got the other side to worry about. <coughs> Stupid rush. With yeah. acrylics, I do what I what I would do myself. I know it's, it's different watercolors, but I would do the whole wash of the whole garden in green, and then when it's dry, then add the you know do all the background first, and then add. Build it up like in a sort of a bit like I don't know if you know about decoupage, you know, where you put layer upon layer. Mm. Yeah. So way of painting, isn't it, with acrylic, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll cover the whole paper first with a colour. Oh, then, I see. And then put in your other Did bits. you put the lights on after? <laughs> yeah. So when I'm watching it, it's really interesting to watch what you're doing and how, how you do it, but I sort of do it in reverse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can go over it if you'd make a mistake, can't you? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. Pardon? Mistakes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mistakes? We don't... I, I start off with good intentions and yes, I can do this. <laughs> you just make it look so easy. Well, all I'm doing is playing with um, tone, uh, shadow and tone. Mm. So I'm looking at the looking reference at the picture. picture, the little photograph, and I'm thinking, I can't, I'm not going to paint leaves every, all over the place so I'm just looking at this the shadows the darks look for it they're, they're usually at the bottom mm. you know where the, the light hits the bottom of the tree and to mix it it's just adding mm. a bit of blue to the to the, we've already put um, the yellow and a hint of green on, mix that up on there. So it's just a question of adding some darks in amongst it while it's dry, while it's dry, while it's wet, <laughs> while it's damp. And if you get that using a fan brush, it just adds a little bit of extra randomness. And then we've got this, just scratch it a bit. It's not quite as, Well, just a sec. Where um, so many possibilities in this picture, though. Because if you, especially later on, because you can put different flowers in wherever you want. Mm. It's just a bit of tissue. I'm just lifting off some of the. Look for, just looking for, highlights. You know, bright 
areas on the flower. Chrissy's got her white out now, going, yeah, we we'll have a bit of white here and <laughs> try and get some. It's just, it's just where the yellow, where I put the yellow, really. It's just hopefully the, not hopefully, I'm positive that the, the water will blend it back. Choose the edge of the tissue. You can, because you always get those highlights on the foliage. Mm -hmm. That's two out of three anyway. Two out of three, no. One, two, three, four. Two out of four. It's four bits. Next bit. Well, yeah, what I agree with what Chrissy was saying, actually, because it did cross my mind. If I was doing this in a commercial way, I'd probably mask out quite a bit of the, the finite detail and paint the whole thing with a wash of lemon yellow and raw sienna. So I've got the whole paper would have been that, minus the figures and some of the more interesting detail, you know, the final detail. Mm. I, I crossed my mind last night. I, I thought, should I just paint the whole thing with a wash first? Mm, and I chickened mm. out. I thought, nah, <laughs> let's just go for it. Well, you wouldn't be able to do that if you were sat there, would you? Plain air, painting away. Mm. So that was my thoughts. Just trying to find my little... Okay. Little rigger brush. It's not. It's so little. It's disappeared. That's fascinating. Fan A. The other th thing I was going to do. Sit down a minute. Let's tell when I'm. Concentrating, put some flesh on the bones. I'm doing it brighter than some just thinking of M's. Yeah, that's really sad about Lorna. Yes. Try not, I sort of, I don't go on about it. I but sort of deal with it in my own way, you know, because mm -hmm. we were together a long time. And she used to be the one that, oh, the guy that worked at the church, he used to come in, he used to really annoy me. He used to call, he used to come in and park her car for her. Mm -hmm. He used to call her, where's my babe? Where's my, oh, something like that, you know? Oh. Mm. He used to really wrangle with me. So much so that I got, that I am, um, well, put it this way, he ain't working there no more. <laughs> <laughs> Went. He did go to prison for a little while. Oh there. <laughs> mm. That's a whole new story. story. What I might do <laughs> when I'm in the mood is I'll I don't this is just a bit of that flesh. Well I've got flesh in my hands. Oh, this is so. Have I got the right bit? Don't know. I'm not even. I'm going to stop looking at the photograph. Just going to dab them in. And they go right across there. Just a bit of. Um, Alzheimer in crimson, 
rose madder and a dab of the flesh tone that's in my palette. For a minute, I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do, put me in now, but I've just sort of, it's always a quandary for want of a better term, because if you don't put them in, you end up painting over it and think, oh, I've lost the mm. um, the pictures, you know, that you've lost a big element in your painting. So really all I'm doing is blocking them in just to make sure that I don't forget them in a minute. Laying out. But that crimson, crimson colour is quite, um, it's a massive great bush. That. I've got some of it growing in the greenhouse. Bernard doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Granddad, I, he doesn't, I don't think he minds. I just go around taking cut, <laughs> cuttings every time. <laughs> I see spot something, think, oh, that's nice, yeah. It's a challenge, isn't it? To take it home, mm -hmm. see if I can get the flipping thing to grow. Okay. I do the same <coughs> down at um, Kingston Moorwood. They've got a nice rose garden. And um, I was sort of uh, wandering around with my little snips and a carrier bag, <laughs> taking some cuttings <laughs> of some of the roses. <laughs> oh, gosh. They probably, they're probably aware of people doing that. They were so big, you couldn't. Nobody would notice. No. Well, I'm sure they. I've are. done it at the woman's house. Because we were stewarding, so we were there all the time, twenty four seven, way after the place had shut. Mm. <laughs> just I've done it running. at the the house at the bottom of the road. <laughs> <laughs> I've She's got some them. lovely. I've got some lovely fuchsias grown in my garden that I took cuttings from. Oh, crumbs. 20 years ago. Oh gosh. <laughs> I, if I was just walking along, um, taking my other dog for a walk, and kids or somebody, they'd broken all these branches off of this fuchsia oh. that was over the thing and just thrown them in the road. So I thought, oh, well, that's really sad, but I'll rescue some and see if they grow. And I've got two, three lovely big fuchsias now. Oh. <laughs> from those. That's good then. Mm. You haven't got any lupins though. No, I haven't got any lupins, sadly. Bloody things. Sorry to swear <laughs> on camera. I'm not um not gonna bother with lupins again. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> Chrissy, I I grow I grow after you mentioned it, I thought well, that was a challenge. So I've grown mm. load from seed. And I've got them. Yeah. And they've grown about the biggest one's what four five inches high mm -hmm. in the oh, greenhouse gosh. that's all year they they don't grow anything they just stay there <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what i thought that's why i and bought the something the something eats them. yeah it's well it's i can't decide whether it's the, the snails or slugs I mean, my pots were full of snails when I put them out. Bit of lemon yellow. Yep. Yeah, I mean, s snails eat them. There's no doubt about that. They eat the ones that I put in the ground outside. Yeah. But there's something else that eats them. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I don't know oh. if it flies. Mm. There's something. Because I've got them in the... I've got, I've got some in the conservatory. And I checked all the pots, you know, underneath and round the edge for any sluggery, skull yes. sluggery. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's none. There's no slugs there. No. No, I've given up. I'm not spending any more time or money on them. Not on them flipping things. Them lupins. They're they're really hard work. Yeah, I'm growing hollyhocks now instead. I thought they. Could Oh. Lupins, don't they grow really tall? Oh. Really, really big when they get moving. Yeah, they do. Well, oh, that's they what should. I was thinking. Well, come the ones that were in the greenhouse, they sort of stay, you know, they'll, 
they'll they're not getting eaten so they'll they'll grow big but they haven't mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm planning, maybe you have to they're sort of three years before they get mm. big enough to go outside even the ones in the ground didn't grow that big no I had them all. And then when you see them, when you see them in gardens and they're looking absolutely wonderful. Ah. Well, the, the, the challenge is still on, mm. but I can't, but I didn't realise it was going to take quite this long. I've just I've got some of these bits of green here in that pot I showed you just earlier. I've just stuck my thumb in a fucking pot of yellow. Maybe that's not, you need to glue it down, <laughs> this little <laughs> tray. Oh, God. It just, it just absorbed, it just went for me. This is, um, I think you'll enjoy doing this. Mm. It's, it's, looking got lot, it's got a lot of um, potential, I tell you. I can't see me being here much longer doing this. We're on a roller. <laughs> well, as things, I'm moving around, letting things dry in one area so I can go back to the other. A bit of tissue on the grass, on the lawn, maybe a little bit of. What's that thing called? Fan brush. Oh yeah, what was halfway through? I'm always doing this. Talking about earlier was um, I bought. I was watching this guy doing the portraits, and he was using besides painting from the dark to the light in watercolor. It was also um, using um, cat's tongue brush. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it's a, it's a, like a, oh, what's the word? It's a deal, it's a filbert brush, but a pointy end on it. It's like mm. a cat's tongue. Think of a cat's tongue. Cat's mm. tongue goes sort of like a dome with a point on the end. And they're called filberts in real life, but oh. Americans sort of, well, not just Americans, but a lot some people call them cat's tongues because they look like cat's tongues oh that's what you've bought is it <laughs> i bought um two of those because when i went on um rosemary's website of course the, there were two types come there was um synthetic ones and um Sable ones, and I thought, oh, I don't know which one is because it's got. I want one with a nice point on it so that you can, you mm. know, do some real nice work with. And uh, so I went, so I bought a sable one plus a little bit of flesh turning. Sorry, a sable one and A synthetic one, just to sort of, oh, if I get one, it'll, it's so a sod's law, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Whoever yeah. he asks. If you buy one, it'll be the other one that you needed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting canny in my old age. That's just a bit of flesh tone. I think I might extend it, actually. What colours? Footpath. A bit of flesh. But... And a little bit of blue violet. Where's my palette? She says, I can't see where you're painting. Where you're painting. A little bit of blue violet. violet. It's, I call it blue violet. It's rose madder with a little bit of blue in it. And it's gone sort of a violet colour, which is, to, is our standard shadow tone, isn't it? So, mm. and this... From that, I've drawn a line there, but from 
that edge going down, it's just shadow. Well, it's grey and it's in sort of a shad summer shadow, shall we say. Mm. So, but I just thought wanted. I just think if you can put a that sort of flesh tone underneath it first gives it something to sit on. You get that nice sort of thingy colour. Don't want it to be too dark because it's summer. Even though it is a bit of extra blue perhaps. Maybe it's more dark. I was reading about shadows on trees earlier. Something else that I've been doing wrong all these years, apparently. Oh. Bit dumb. Should be dry now, shouldn't it? See if I can get a lollipop tree. Bing, bing, bing. Radical? Yeah. Fan brush. Bit of cobalt turquoise or just ordinary turquoise to you other people. If you haven't got any, I'm just gonna stick that. I kept that. I said there were four bits. One of them was the background there, the dark bit over there, which is towards the back of the garden. There's a lot of mm -hmm. um fern, one of those, I don't know what sort of trees they are, they're sort of fir tree but it's growing dead up straight up like a pine thingy so i'm gonna just want the reason i broke it into four is i just wanted it to look distinctly different for each area of the garden just added a bit of yellow into that these fan brushes are fun mm -hmm. I think what I'm trying to do is to get distinctly different variations of green so that it highlights different mm. um, different trees. And we still need our dark, so um, a nibble of blue. You could go the, the usual hog and put some blue and burnt umber together. But I think in this case, just putting the this tree over here, I'm, I'm not 100 pretty sure it's silver birch. So they they do, they have that sort of funny colour. Mm. Yeah. And, oh, what's it's a it's all yeah. I'll come back to that. Put a few. Scratchy lines on it. Go on, grow, grow. <laughs> Come on, it it's got to be fun, and always we ain't doing it anymore. <laughs> What's um? Feel a bit like. The irony is lemon yellow, if you've got any, I'm, I've not got any here, but lemon yellow is nice. Like a oh, yes, I have. It's in that other palette, there's a dollop of it. There's a, I decided to carry on with what was in the picture and hide that if I could get away with it. There's a tree. One of those pointy up ones oh. in behind the post. So, which is the irony is that I, I figure that the end game is is that post or the posts that is going to change the picture completely. Good or bad, I don't know. One or the other. <laughs> oh. get, me, get me rigor. Oh, Dave, I didn't want that. It had um, my rigor, my fan brush. 
it had um, horrible darks in it. I've got two fan brushes, really. I should do. I forgot what I was going to do now. Oh, mix up a bit of. Only colour yellow, green, and just whack it in amongst this. We try and miss the flowery bits I put in earlier. I'm doing it quickly, but ordinarily you could do it with a little bit more care and understanding. With another type of brush perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not bad. I think what I might do, mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Put some colour on. Find a bit of <gasps> where did that come from? That's a, well it's because I'm I'm conscious of time and rushing really. I'm just gonna tissue this out this area. For a sec. Well, maybe too big. Just want to protect it for a sec. Na, 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 na. Get me doodah and spray just in the middle. So if I can get that colour to sort of mix up a bit. I've got that um, a bit out. You know what? Someone's been in my on my desk. And tidied up, I can't find any. Nightmare. Oh no, that's it. Just gonna blow it. Got this. Nah, that's spread too much now. Only want a little bit of green just to blob it in. Tissue. Bit like doing an operation, isn't it? Tissue, scalpel. Have to smish it up. I'm not too worried about that because I'm going to put add some white in later. Beauty is that flesh tone and the pinky colour has dried off. Part of the planning process. Right, next on the list. Mm. Mm. Can't find me rigor, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, there it is. Amazing, that. I can't find it. Now, five minutes later, up she comes. Find some shadow tone. Light red, hint of blue, maybe a bit of the cobalt blue spinner. Not too much. All gone. Now I've got to find some. A little bit of shadow there. That paint in the reds. Losing them. Got my hand in a load of wet paint, I think. Fresh water, let that drizzle down. Can't 
Just go careful. Don't upset Mel. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty easy at that. I'm an expert. <laughs> Just a bit of shadow tone, really. I'm just putting on the, the garden swing. It's um, it's my big favourite. Normally, if they're not on there, then I've they've got cushions at your end, sort of thing. I'll just lie down on it and swing yeah. for ages. It's such a lovely thing. I wonder if that's Pauline. Pauline, if that's you, I can my ah oh, no, it won't be. My Facebook um messenger things going ping ping. <laughs> I was thinking, I wonder if it's Pauline. Let me in, let me. Well. I can't do much about that. And the shadow mixed up. So we are painting it in reverse in a way. Rose madder, a little bit cobalt blue. Gives us a nice, well, ish shadow tone. So paint, I'm just dropping in some shadows really where they might be and there's a hint of it over here lift a bit of that paint off just down it in there because you can't see what attracted me was you couldn't have to worry about the figure's feet because they're in shadow, uh, covered up with the whatever that plant is. It's not coronation, is it? I don't know what it is. It's big. Mel, Mel will tell me later what it is. A little bit of yellow. Ems, you're having a red yellow top on. <laughs> and why not? My flesh tone's a bit too strong, so I won't do it today. I might be able to just lift it off. Make it up. Difficult because the the angle of it is so acute that the figures sort of disappear, don't they? No mind. Summer at grass, so it was. I was there. It's that little Frodo sound. If he doesn't like it on there very much. I'm just looking More at the photo. I thought he was on there. He might, ah, oh, he's right at the, behind the blind. Oh dear. <laughs> no, I thought he sat next to, in between Emily and Mel. No. I could be. Maybe it's not, it's hard to tell. That's a hydrangea, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, right. Sorry, I 
I thought it. I, I thought it, but I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was waiting for you. I, that, was, that, was, that was a you feed me the line and I'll tell you what it is sort of thing. Sorry, so, I wasn't concentrating. I was concentrating on the brush. <laughs> Bleach of blue. While I've got a bit of shadow in my rigor, I'm just going to add a few bits here and there. How am I off for time, Carol? Um, 10 to 10 to 12. That's yeah. okay. I've got, I'm fine. That's fine. So I didn't want to over rush. So it won't be an early lunch. Then. No. Is it ever? <laughs> Never. Never. Yeah. Is there an early lunch? It's a real gloomy day today, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Mm. It's coming cold quick, hasn't it, really? So I suppose it's October next week, isn't it? It certainly so is. Mm. Time just goes so quickly. It was lovely at the weekend when we were away. The forecast was for showers all over the oh. weekend. It was where, did, where did you go the weekend? Uh, only caravan um, oh, at right. West Moors. Only at but West Moors. West oh, Moors. Right. West Moors. Right. <laughs> yeah, but wasn't, wasn't far away. But um, Anne Gordon were there. It was just really nice. Have they gone down to Cornwall, is it, or Devon? Where is it they go? Dartmoor. Yeah. Dartmoor. Are they doing yeah. their painting again, painting yeah. course? Yeah, that's next week. This week oh. they're near um, Oakhampton, they're camping near where oh. their son, or Anne's son and his wife have moved to. So they're going to visit them. Oh, how did the <laughs> wedding go? Is that all right? Yeah, well, I've only seen the photos, obviously, but yeah, it looked lovely. Yeah, yeah, it all went well. Good. The best man whose mum passed away just before the wedding. Apparently, oh, no. oh, he gosh. did a really good job, and his sister. Oh. They, uh, they still did their duty. Yeah, yeah it must be very hard for them, I know. Yeah, but no, they all look very nice. Philip mm. looked very smart. Good. Ruth, his wife, mm -hmm. she's lovely. And Dylan, her son, he was um ring bearer. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's really he's a lovely boy. Yeah, we met him on the on a Tuesday. Oh, is that yeah. him? He likes painting, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's 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 a really nice kid. And um, yeah, it all went well. Anne looked absolutely lovely. You'll never, see, you'll never see the photos, but just, <sighs> you know, you know what Anne's like. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm going to find the photo and show you it on my phone. Yeah, yeah, okay. You won't, you won't tell her. No. <laughs> Except she'll be watching this later. <laughs> she'll go, oh, why did she? They do haven't that? got internet connection in Dartmoor, apparently. No, no, that's no, the, true. The I don't guards. expect she'll be recording that either, will she? No, the guards have switched it off and they won't let her they won't let them watch it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, this tree good. over here with a tree trunk, I'm I've left it white and I'm just making the background. I'm using up dark colour from my palette and just putting darks in the background to make the to make tree try and make the tea stand out. Mm. Yeah, I'm doing what they they sort of call it, sort of painting in the negative, really. Looks so, quite good though, doesn't it? It's a, it's a neat way of doing it. What you're not going to paint that at all? Not now because it's no. so wet. But no. Oh yeah, no. I, I mean later. Well, it looks alright. And put some more darks in the. 
in on top of it. But it's so much, I think that might be a willow. <laughs> a tree's a willow of some description. I've just got some of the darks on that brush, so I'm just going to squish a few bits in here and there. That's what I've always said about um, painting in watercolours. If you really want to paint foliage or flowers, it's got nearly all the techniques that you're ever going to need for any, any watercolour painting are in there. Learn to paint flowers because you don't have to do them accurately brilliant but all the methods that you need to paint everything else are in there mm. that's looking good now well, <clears throat> i'll leave it alone on that on that recommendation yeah i would <laughs> <laughs> thanks mate i'm trying to find these photos but of course Anne didn't publish it i'm trying to remember oh. who who did? <laughs> I think it might have been her other son. They were lucky that um, she didn't, uh, the Queen didn't die on that day. Oh, it was very close for the wedding. Yeah. I mean. yeah. yeah. Let's find a few more dark colours. Blue. Okay. Bit of the red. I think the news is all a bit depressing at the moment, isn't it? <sighs> this um, finance and what have you. Oh. Well, I, um, I don't think they're going to get in next time, do you? That'll be it. They won't if I've got anything to do. No, I was going to say, they won't. <laughs> not on my back. Oh, and again, I'm, <laughs> I'm not one of them. I think um, the Putin is more of a worry at the moment. Oh, God, yeah. He's lost the plot, haven't he? Mm. Oh. Don't know. It's just Russians being Russians in my book. They've never been exactly normal. Do you watch football, Dave? No, I, I, yeah, occasionally. You know, I don't support it madly. It. I watched it last night. Watched the um, England uh, game against Germany last night. I don't normally. I, I got into watching the ladies' football when that was yeah, on. that was more um, interesting. Really isn't it? Nice, so I got to watch it. God, what an amazing game that ended up being. I did say to you when the women's was the girls was on and said it's all it's all it's 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 very girly when you see the the way the men play it's like oh, yeah. i tell the girls are not just being sexist or anything they're very good they're and it's very but it is it's they don't, different they, don't, they want any fouls or yellow cards so nobody got a sent off you know they it's it more like football used to be years ago, didn't it? it looks, yeah. I mean, now it's oh god. Professional Push. cheating goes on all the time. That's what frustrates yeah. me. They they train to to make to get a foul, yeah. and it's part of the game to fall over in a certain way or jump <laughs> to make it look like the bloke's tackled yeah. you and he hasn't been anywhere near you. That's all part of it. And you think, oh, I can't be doing this. Better get a wiggle on here. Of that tree over there, this thing, I pushed, it's brushwork, I've just pushed it up. Right. Just to make it look like it's one of those. Carry up trees, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you're still... Need to put the darks in at the background. You know what I said? They're mostly at the bottom. Mm. So you, just use your rigger and just go around where you want it. I think I'm going to be struggling with the the swing because it's so. You're going to put a colour on it. 
Wow. Yeah, white. Oh, right. Okay. I'm looking for some straw colour. Raw sienna in layman's terms. Non watercolour people. Put some hair on that figure. It's the beauty of being, you can play God, really, can't you? What colour hair do you want today, Ems? <laughs> Any colour but. Any right. colour bar green. <laughs> well, Mel's is. I don't know what colour hair she's got. <laughs> yeah, it does change a bit. Awful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say. Yeah, what kind of hair is awful? <laughs> oh, Auburn. I thought you said awful. <laughs> find the photo. I found the photo of Anne with her two sons. All oh, right. We'll have a look in a minute. Yeah, wait wait till we finish and I'll oh, okay then. Otherwise you won't be able to yeah. splash it around. Right. No. That's looking all right now. Yeah. Let's hope she doesn't find out. <laughs> and Sonia. If you're watching this raw sienna. Sharing it, it's such a lovely photo of you. And I know you don't like having your photo taken, but this is really, really nice. So there. <laughs> well, yeah, we could you... all say that. I always look not very well. Yeah, I don't take good photos. I don't really care. I mean, I just, I'm me. If nobody yeah. can miss. Right. That's it. <laughs> That's the best yeah. way to be, Chris. Yeah. I've never worried about it. Now the scary bit coming now, I think. Um, mix up a load of darks. And I think I'll use a, I need a stiff brush for this. I thought I was going to say stiff drink for a minute. Yeah. Need a stiff drink before I do this. Stiff brush. No, only a stiff one because I want to get the mix up a load of colour. And I notice my um burnt umber, which is my normal go-to extra dark, has gone a bit bit off. Oh, that looks a bit, oh, a bit green. <laughs> I think what I'll do is do it in two. Two strokes. Start. Which is to do the posts. Yeah. We would. I think I'll start with burnt sienna and raw sienna. Well, I suppose if really, if I keep it to colours out the tin, I'm going to be better off, aren't I? This brush seems about the right sort of width, actually. And I'm going to put a let's mm. go for it. Mm. That's raw sienna. Wipe that bit off. And the bit because it wasn't dry here, you see. Normally you do this when everything was bone dry. Mm. One tip you do you want to remember if you're doing it like this, just dry the underside of the ruler, ruler off because you bet your dollar spot and doodah. As soon as you put it back, it's going to have a load of paint underneath it. Why am I doing it with a ruler? I don't know. It's just a. It's very quick. <laughs> Just yeah. a way of just guiding my hand. Mm. That looks good. It'd be nice for a tree, wouldn't it? <laughs> nice tree trunk. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't do that if you tried, could you? Is the paper. Ooh. The paper has got, um, what do you call it? It's a not finish, isn't it? So, mm. so it's going to do that. So if I make the. Don't want a bit stronger. Yeah, but 
the the ideal way is to let this let it all go dry and then mm. oh. go for the posts because really you want the, you don't want them like this you want them to be rock solid yeah well don't spoil uh, it do it later yeah we know what to do yeah i'm just you want them to oh that's bright but if i put it on yeah. you'll get a fit you can see what what's likely to happen yeah but what i said right ages ago was what's going to change the whole picture of the posts because if you, that they'll be dark they'll be that color and the ones at the front as it goes forwards will gradually get darker just pretend you're cutting someone's appendix out and you don't want to slip with a knife <laughs> oh god it'll force you to go a bit a bit steadier but I'm, and I'll make the, the the next one a bit darker still. I think I should use the ruler. <laughs> it's a bit more. Yeah, but I think the the key is to let it, you know let the rest let of the painting dry, dry, and then you you could even mask it out with um. Have you got any frog tape? And really go for it. You know, really get it spot on. <laughs> really dark, especially this front one. You want it really dark. There is a post here, oh. but I'm, I'm not going to put it in at the moment. I don't think no. it's one of those shall I, shan't I? Oh. And I'm and I'm on I'm airing on the side of the, I shan't. Cool. <laughs> or just that that railing attached to the post though, because at the moment yeah they are. They're they're going to need a little bit of. A different brush, and we just need to... oh, gosh. I'm holding my breath. I don't know about yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can see mine going all skewy. You've got a steady hand, I haven't. You get the gist of it, you just build it up slowly. Mm. This, I mean, now I'm just putting a bit of colour on so that we can see what it's what it's going to end, end up like. But you can see the, mm. well, you know, the overall thing about it is it's there or their bags can't can't do that sat down I just, well could but is that um, another little flower on those lower roll, roll, railings yeah yeah well, sorry i said yes i didn't know what you meant <laughs> well see where you've just painted Stupid oh, oh i can't show you can i wait or is it just a bit oh Oh, I see. It's the shape of the railings, is it? It's got a squirrely bit in it. No? Hang on. Let me draw this line a minute. Can you see what I mean, Chris? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here's the railings. Yeah. Where? Look, here, Where's like wrought iron. At the bottom. Oh, I, at the, the bottom. Of this? Yeah. Yes. That's, um, they're little right. squirrels. Squirrels. Yeah. Like I couldn't, little... yeah, I know, yeah. Scrum, yeah, we've got those on our stairs. Got some more iron there. I don't think I... Yeah, they just sort of do that. The thing about it is, um, I might... No, I'm pretty sure... I, when it's dry, I'll probably go over the rail. This one can go out over because it's got like a little 
nipple it is to use um, some watercolour pencils on them so I can get a really sharp edge mm. and just use the ruler and paint them because you want them really defined and the posts mm -hmm. like you say it's all a bit up in the air soaking wet soaky wet jill at the moment yeah. so you want the rest of the painting to go dry oops it doesn't matter if they're a bit wibbly lines because they are <laughs> they're not dead straight Perfectly straight, even. So that and just glue you're putting on that, is it? It's, um, it's burnt umber and blue mixed oh, up right. with my standard yeah. Yeah. thingy. But if, um, for example, I've got these pencils, which are graph tint, whatever that means. But mm. there's loads of different um, shades in here. So I can pick any one of these, sharpen it. I've got time. Get my sharpener out. Yeah, they're brilliant, aren't they? I love my pencils now. Get them nice and sharp. Yeah, you want a fairly decent well, no. You won't get them that sharp, but fairly decent point. You just use, I'm just using Granddad's wooden ruler. You can tighten it up with the ruler. No, what did I say? Wipe the bottom off because it'll have oh. it and it oh. but Yeah, you can you got, a got a watercolor pencil. <laughs> you can yeah. you can do a much neater job. Or a crayon. What colour is that? I don't know. Oh. They don't have colours on them. All oh, right. This does cool brown. All oh, right. But I won't do it too hard because it. But you, it will finish you off later. You can just tighten them up, and if you. My thoughts were the ones at the back, like this one here, they're a bit further away, so we can make them a bit lighter. Whoosh. That means the one going across. Just to show what it what it is. Um, mm. one thing I have forgot, well, I'm gonna get negated to put on. There's a there's a swimming pool here. So can put a um, mixture of bits in there. That's a bit of swimming, but isn't it's a swimming pool for frogs? Oh, and newts. <laughs> sad. Just, just to clarify, it's not. I thought. Well, I didn't see a swimming pool. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I didn't. I only told you half the story. Oh. Not unusual for me, that. i just put a few things there. Raw sienna? Yeah, go on. Raw sienna, a little bit of flesh. Drop that in. Add some of that dark blue, whatever colour we've got. And that'll do that plant pot nice job. Clean it off. Let it run. That flesh tone is not quite terracotta, but it's definitely got a terra doodah edge to it. Beauty of these, if, if you're using watercolor pencils like that, you you only got a put damp water on your brush mm. and you can manipulate it like there there's you can just go underneath put a little bit of mm. shadow to it looks quite nice that 
don't know what, what a colour was. It's a cool brown. Well, towards the front, it's going to be a different. The dark colour towards the front, but for a minute, take the brush out in the mouth. Yeah, that's fine. Believe it or not, this line matches the line on the fence panel there, so it goes right the way along. Oh, right. Mm. But you've got my sketch, so that's you've got what I've got, what I used. Right. More or less. Exactly. The only thing I would say is that it's a bit thick that on it. A bit carried away then. Mm -hmm. So, I'm making a mistake with the watercolour pencil. In theory, <laughs> notice in theory, you should be able to just use a clean water on a brush and lift it off. Because it's just watercolour paint. Isn't it? Yeah, that did. Lift it off and come back later and draw the line properly. The one thing I've the oh, that's a the the fence is the this part of the fence here isn't part of the fence. This isn't part of the, the fence goes across there. This that steps is it that steps going down. That's it. Well done. Well spotted. Yeah that that's the fence for the steps. So yeah. the the lines going down are much are fainter than the ones on here. Yeah. They go straight down, but they're they're a little bit fainter. Yeah. I'm quite pleased with this now. Well, it's got potential to carry on. Beauty of doing it doing this sort of thing is it's our scene and it's our work. We haven't got to worry about Hey, you can't paint that. Oh, my name's John Paul Getty and you owe us 350 quid for painting my photo that I mm. pinched off someone else and I'm now in charge of you. Sort mm. of thing. I'm not going to swear, but I'm tempted. <laughs> well, the, you know, those old black and white photos, they they get them, claim them as their own, and then charge mm. you the privilege of using them. Talk about money for old rope. What's this? Um, I'm saying my favourite, non favourite, do you know? Get a little brush and do a Chrissy on the Maybe if I can find any. Just add some look with some highlights on the figure. It's not going to stand out very well. You could put, you put, make the dresses a different colour. Make the dress? Yeah. yeah. But she is in the, it is in distance. Oh, right. Okay. I don't want to make yeah, I know. Don't want it too bright. It's tempting. I, yeah, you. I want it to disappear, really. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I don't want them to... We know they're there. And to... It's the opposite, Carol. Right, what you just want them to blend about. in. Yeah. It's not... Yeah, it's not... It's not the figures... But it's the, the, the face yeah. behind them. Right. Well, concentrate on that. That'll then they'll Bring they'll them. stand out a bit more. But as I say, I, I painted the flesh quite dark, so you really should get that a bit. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I was taking... That was my impression of Carol. Oh, I... <laughs> oh dear. 
and uh, don't forget to add some what hydrangea did we say it was hydrangea add some whites to the top to the pinks on the flowers there's so many flowers on it mm. takes That's over beautiful. everything yeah massive great bush mm. my mum and dad used to have huge hydrangeas in their front garden Mm. Well, Mel's dad, um, Bernard, and, and her mum, Sheila, they used to um, follow the, the RHS, mm. the members of the Horticultural Society, you know, Chelsea and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So they used to get really good. They, they were right into it. Uh, it's proper English quality stuff on that garden. I don't know. You could probably spend three days playing, playing hydrangea stranger. <laughs> <laughs> and then Time even then when you think you've when you think you've cracked it, uh, the hydrangeas have got a dark <laughs> dark side, but they have got darks in the in the in them as well. So then you, while it's damp, you've got to start putting in darks where the where the greens are, and that'll lift them out. Especially the towards you said that this um this was going to be in two parts. So is this not going to be finished today? This picture, or yeah, is it? Is, no. Or this, is it the other picture that you meant was going to yeah, be. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Released. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is when I. This is nearly over to you, mate. Yeah. Well, no, that's thinking. I didn't want you to, to finish it. Then you've got nothing to do next week. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're doing the other picture of Granddaddy. Another, another point of another point in time. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, it's quite um, yeah, quite looking forward to it now. I wouldn't at first, but oh. there's a lot of um, as I say, there's a lot of potential in this picture because it, yeah. like I said earlier, it's got um, it reminds me of that those sort of David Hockney's fifties sort of things. You can yeah. there's a lot. Yeah, real. I mean, I've just blocked it in and hopefully pointed it in the right direction. Oh. You'll pick out a few pointers, like where the figures are. Pick out the um, the background and try and make them bring it out from the from the background. You know, painting the negative. You can still yeah. do more up by that tree. Yeah, and you've got white, so. You can add a, a little extra sparkle to yours by, but it is one of those things that I'm always on about that saying, um, if you add white to it, because it's a man-made thing, I don't have a problem with it, mm -hmm. adding white on it, because it's, you want it to stand out, you want it to look like um, oh. it's false it's a false thing in the landscape mm. so and also the posts what will really do it um, give me a sec besides putting some little bit of um, you've got a fine rigour mm. which I should have the brushes I bought from are what well, I remember. I bought the two Dilbert thingies for doing portraits and what have you. The other one, the others was um, the a couple of riggers. Um, But not the 
not these type of riggers, but made with these oil, these evergreen brushes, which are oil and acrylic brushes. I bought a rigger, some riggers based on them, which should be interesting. So I thought they'd, they'd be really stiff. They won't be whippy. Then, you know, I, I don't know how I, I, I was fascinated. Like you do, you start clicking buy, <laughs> add, to car, add, to, add to car and buy before you know what's what. You spend... <laughs> Now, but sometimes you think, well, it's the carriage is whatever it is, and you think, oh, another fiver, I might as well. It's going to cost me fiver for a carriage, so buying one brush for for six pound fifty doesn't seem polite, really. It doesn't seem the right thing to do, as I say. <clears throat> And uh, your your interpretation is going to be great. Down, down, down. Well, I'm not unhappy with it. Am I not? No, I don't think so. I'm not unhappy. I've set the Ooh. I've set the standard for Tuesday morning now. It's down to you to whoop it, which you invariably do. So that's cool. Well, is that a plant in that flower pot? Or is yeah, that there is. Pot? Yeah. Oh, right. What colour are you doing those? There are some things that I've left deliberately blank for anyone else having a go. To add their, 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 put their stamp on it. Right. On purpose. Right. Hey guys. <laughs> like I say, you can go, but the beauty of, I said right at the start, actually, about that flower pot is, is allow, it's going to allow um, you to add an extra dimension. Ooh, that sounds techy. An mm. extra. Hmm. I've got a white pencil, but it don't. It don't want to. Oh, they don't show up, that. do they? I found that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Wait till it dries, and I'll put some white paint on. No, that that um, flower there. Do what pot, color we like? Yeah. You can put whatever color flower isn't it that you want to just you could do a what's his name van gogh in it <laughs> a sort of monet they're sort of monet type flowers which is just a blob of yellow with some rose matter plopped in for good measure Add a little bit of dirt in the top of the pot. Green, green dirt. Yeah, well, it's more. <laughs> run out of shadow colour. So. Sorry, let's mind. It usually has a, a lip, doesn't it? I put it in earlier on, but it's faded. The water is still too wet and it's just blobbed itself into the, into the bottom of the pot. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it now. I wouldn't at first, but yeah. Mm, that's nice. I think yeah. you, can, you can, well, it's it's a picture that we can, you can interpret your own way. And I've got you know, a kind of no, as well. There's no hard and fast. I must admit, I should have, I think I'll, when it's all dried and done and dusted, I'll, I'll spend a bit more time on the, Mm. Perhaps brighten up, brighten up the figures. Mm. Make Mel look a bit prettier. <laughs> I should say that. Well, I'm up for a challenge. 
<laughs> I'm on a stick. Look, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what I say, I'm on a sticky wicket. Mm. And, but like I said, I'll probably add some, some, uh, some gouache. I've got the white here. And Add I can... some more pink to your high hydrangeas. Make them yeah. stand up a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, so lovely. Very nice. Ooh. A bit more. Yeah, because now I've done that, you can it's see that. It's a bit of colour, isn't it? Yeah. We can just quickly. Yeah, give them a bit more wobble, definition. We'll put a few extra wobbles on them. And the whites that's on there, um, but I haven't finished the posts. So at some oh. point, I want to make the post darker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've you you've achieved that in the you know a lot less time than we'll spend on ours, I expect. So oh. you know, you can't expect it to be perfect in an hour and a half or whatever it is. Where's the time? Do you know, it's 24 to 1, Dave. <laughs> Gosh, that went quick, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, I've just uh, looked at my watch. I think it's going to have to call it a day at this point. Yeah, let's have a look at this picture of um, Anne. Oh, I'll wait until you're not recording before I do that. Mm. Wait for Dave to start recording. Don't think she'd want her picture on public domain. <laughs> no. Hang on. Uh, still here. Oh, okay. He's back again. I'm just looking out the window of the Sainsbury's. Oh. Uh, <laughs> right, let's put. That's it. Sainsbury's bloke. I, I just turned up. So. Right. I'm back. Hang on. Okay. Big gallery. There you go. Doink. Yeah. Remove. Right. That was a good morning's work there. I... Yes. Yeah. I knew it was never going to be an easy picture, but I don't care. No. Yeah. It's going to be um, fun. Any, you could take it a little portion of that picture. And paint that, concentrate on that. You don't need the figures, you, you just do one bit, a bit of the fence yeah. and the trees in the background, any of it. Yeah. It's such yeah. a busy, busy picture. Right. You probably spend no. the next six months painting different variations of that and learn quite a lot. Mm. You right. You better go. Yeah. Yeah, upwards and onwards. My, my yeah. Teacher. Yeah, mine. Yeah, <laughs> Peter's fighting face. <laughs> yeah, my time is bumbling. Yeah, okay then. Okay, See you well, next week next then. Week. Yeah. yeah, I think we'll enjoy this week. <laughs> Better yeah, than last yeah. week. <laughs> Just go for it. No. Yeah, okay then. Thanks a lot. Yeah, hopefully there'll be more of us next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay then. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.